I'm going to show you how to organize your course into a classroom team to help your students do the best they can. Well, we're off to a great start here. We've got our team here for Eng 101 Engineering Mechanics here at Contoso University. And we've got all of our students added to the team already. It's a great start. Well, I'm going to jump into the Files tab because the first thing we need to do is get some materials in here. There's a special folder called Class Materials and the materials we put in here, students can access, but they can't muck around with it. So let's jump over to our folder of lectures. Now, we have to make a decision at this point. How are we gonna structure our course? There are four basic approaches. We can create weekly channels, topic-based channels, channels for each activity, or we can do group-based channels and use private channels, for example. Well, I'm gonna focus in on weekly channels. I think it's best practice because we get lots of material created on a weekly cadence and students know when and where to find what they need. The best way of all is if we can compartmentalize every one of our topics into a week. So you can see here, I've got my PowerPoint decks for week one, topic one, force and moment, and so on. And I've created a PDF of each of them. I'm just gonna drag and drop them and throw them over here into the file section. They're uploading here right now. Now I'm going to jump back over here to the general channel. Well, this is where we're going to do all sorts of administrative stuff and general discussion. But I've got this week one topic one, so I'm going to create a new channel for it. Let's come up with a standard here. Week 01 if you're going to have 10 or more because we want these to arrange alphabetically. But I'm just going to go with week one, force and moment. The name of this channel is exactly the same as my PDF and I'm going to automatically show this for every one of my students. Let's add that channel. Now it's just creating. We don't have anything here. So the first thing maybe that I'll do is before I jump into that is I'm going to start with the class notebook because now that I've got a channel here, when I create my class notebook from a blank notebook, it too is going to create sections that match with each of them. There are some suggestions here. I'm not going to use handouts. And I'm at a university, so I'm going to change this to lecture notes. Homework is going to become tutorials and quizzes might become lab work. Okay, let's create that. So the class notebook is getting ready in the background, which is fantastic. While that's working, I'm going to go back to week one and I'm going to add a tab. I might put in a PDF here. Well, I need to find a PDF. I'm going to go up to the general channel here and here is my class materials folder and here are all of the files that I uploaded just before. Here's my week one PDF. I'm going to name it W1 Slides. It's a nice compact name and we know exactly what we're looking for here. Okay, so here it is. Now I've got my week one slides for Eng 101 on force and moment. And my channel is called Week 1 Force and Moment. Let's tap here. OneNote Class Notebook has automatically created a notes tab in every channel. And this channel, Week 1 Force and Moment, is going to create a section inside the class notebook. I'm going to call this Week 1 Example 1. And if I jump over here to my PowerPoint slides that I've uploaded, I'm going to work through this example during the lecture. I'm going to go Control A, Copy, grab this, and jump over to the class notebook. And I'm going to paste it right in here. This is going to give me a bit of a blank canvas that I can work on as a virtual blackboard during the lecture. And I can ink in here with the drawing tools. I can type and I can basically use this as a shared blackboard. Now, if we go back over to the general channel here, what you're going to see here is that there is a section created automatically for each channel that matches to each week. I'm going to open it up with the carrot here and we've got the collaboration space, week one, week one example one, and there's our example from the lecture. I can even right click on this, go copy a link to the page, jump over to my lecture, paste it in, and then during the lecture, I'll be able to just tap this target and go straight to the notebook. So I'm almost ready here for the start of semester. And all that's left for me to do is to go back into my week one channel, post a new announcement, and I'm going to write in here, week one, force and 
moment. We'll add a little subheading here and I'm gonna say, hello at ENG. Students, welcome to week one. I'm gonna set that as high priority. I wanna make sure everyone sees it and I'm gonna hit post. So that's it for week one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new one of these channels for every week and have the material slowly appear for the students throughout semester. I've shown you how to organize your course into a classroom team based on weekly channels so that it's easy for your students to find the material they need to do their best.